let me just play it once so that there are a lot of things you can improve but more or less it looks uh, okay to me the transition because they're very fast you can't tell uh, you know much yes. so other than that i think uh, the only thing which i thought was like in in terms of the scene for example is that like mm -hmm. here at the end it suddenly becomes static like the character so you have like a really dynamic animation happening the character running you know even though transitions are very dynamic fluid going from one scene to another but here suddenly just before the main action it kind of becomes static and you know the body is completely yeah. at rest so it just right before um, the main action it's kind of killing the yeah. vibe like you know the, the feel to it so you could draw a little bit from anime like you'll see these slow mo shots that happens like you know, when you're going to Yeah. slice of something or somebody getting shot so you'll see them suddenly the motion will slow down a lot it won't stop right the character suddenly won't stop so even if the character was running running suddenly it turns and something hits so you know you'll probably fall in the same motion you'll not stop suddenly yes so other than that the only thing i felt which is which i feel which is a bit ambiguous is this part and the transition thing is where it's not sort of working uh i wanted to okay. jump to the other one that you had shared um which is this one yeah yeah in yeah. this one the thing was uh, key frames are not mine so i okay. uh, i changed it a little bit here and there so i was trying oh. to animate the in between and uh, uh, as i said the thing was i was facing difficulty in managing both of those characters so let's say right. if i could make one character do something but right matching his speed to another character and that interaction was very challenging yeah that is that that's always an active challenge when you're doing like you know two characters together so i'll just play it once and then i'll tell you uh, what all is kind of standing out yeah so that's one loop right Firstly, there's some since there are some drawings in between missing. It's it's jittering a bit, so I can't you can't follow the action very clearly. Let's not look at the other stuff. What is happening? Like because I feel it's like a continuous scene, but it's kind of multiple action poses changing. Yeah. Let's look at only from here to here, right? My first suggestion generally is simplify your character. Okay, this is even though like uh, it's still not a lot of muscular detail, but as a figure, as a contour, also is quite detailed. and you're still playing with a lot of volume and that's one reason that you can uh, you should be able to easily draw it the second point is that you need yeah. to simplify it because you need to draw fast uh, that's yes. that's generally what i would recommend is like when you're because especially when you're animating motion you need to kind of go with the motion and see how it's right if you look at one frame yeah. then you go to the next frame and try to just imagine the next pose and draw it in a very very clean way a better process mm -hmm. would be to kind of flip your animation and see for example i can flip and see how the next these you know drawings are kind of moving so i okay i'm better able to visualize the frames moving and then see where the next thing is going to be right uh right now you're hitting the sort of strong poses or like you know the poses where you kind of want people to focus but then uh the transition pose again like this one there is no sort of transition pose right there is no like hand going from here to here it's basically starting here it kind of starts a little bit then directly here so you're getting the impact but you're also losing a lot on the clarity i feel which is which is the tricky part yeah. that's where again that's why you need to sort of understand the body mechanics of it i had drawn a little bit over it i'll just go through it again um okay. so for example this thing i had just redrawn this spit and i've drawn sort of one transition pose in between right and okay. then finally this pose also i i tweaked it for myself a little bit <laughs> where is yeah. the sort of leg going this way and there's a lot more twist in the body here yeah now this right makes more sense <laughs> yeah so this is uh, when you kind of design your poses right uh, in illustrations and in in sort of comic book you can have them more for the aesthetic but when it comes to animation you'll have to kind of keep that in mind like the pose will have a certain reasoning for it so when you're especially mm -hmm. if you're you know when you're kind of throw a punch 
so the force doesn't come from the shoulder or the punch right i mean it does but it originates right from your hip or right from your toe so first you kind of start putting pressure on your leg you try to gain that momentum then the hip and then the punch so you get yeah. that when you are sort of landing when you are standing on the foot but when you are actually mid air then to generate that force you can't simply just go like that so that's where the body start doing this countering the force right so when you do this you'll naturally see that this leg comes up a little bit like you'll it will kind of your lower yeah. body kind of twist the other way for the upper body to generate that motion right so these things uh, that's this is based essentially the what the body mechanics is like how does body make that movement and you need to understand that yeah. in order to be able to animate it now this is like I, i've drawn it very very shabbily but the idea is that you know like to kind of understand how it functions how how things move and then kind of go with the flow now the other thing i wanted to look at for example here if you look at the head right it's kind of shifting mm. uh, it's kind of shifting this way but it's only shifting to the left and then the hand is kind of already catching up with the head whereas if you want to really throw a punch your body will sort of start pulling first the hand will drag a little bit oh, and then, then it yeah. takes some time to catch right so there is no there is no drag yes. and this this delay thing happens a lot in almost every every motion every action if you want to do it. yeah even if you want to get fluidity like that's what it happens like when you're walking also your every part of the body is moving at a different pacing that's because again the motion starting right from hip all the way to the upper body and these like these are all uh, individual masses like your rib cage or your torso rather than the head and the hip so these are kind of three masses and they are kind of going this wave motion constantly and you get this wobble and that's why you get this little bit of you know and that's that's in, how do you do that in animation is basically delay the timing a little bit so if the head is here for example yeah. uh, in mm-hmm. the next one it kind of goes here right it goes ahead but the hand kind of almost remains in the same position it doesn't it move much in same place yeah and then finally it kind of and then the head doesn't move much after the, beyond this point actually because it's already rotating so when you go here the head mm. kind of barely moves ahead but the hand sort of catches up with it so you can uh, yeah, as yeah. you can see this is this is basically like four drawings what you say you know on fours let's say so you can have one in between of this to this and that will add another uh you know when you add that frame you get more clarity there and here again we can this is on 8 so basically you can have uh three more frames in between this and you can decide where you want to kind of have that frame so obviously there will be a slow out so it will start like that and then you know if you have to add three frames between it so it will be something like that so that the spacing of it is something else but uh, overall i think the mm. first thing is just to get your keyframes right and when you're drawing these keyframes it's important that you get the clarity of the action that's what generally uh, i would recommend that that has to be there whereas in both the animation why i went with the other one first is because i could see that every time there's a transition which is tricky right uh, like whether it's mm-hmm. sort of hand changing or the punch throwing there is not the clarity right now how does it move right how does this thing move that kind of thing so i felt that both both the times uh, you kind of skip yeah. that part a little bit okay in that first animation uh, what i was trying to do is uh, i saw i tried to do that pose so the my hand for shoulder was the driver after shoulder and this elbow came and it was doing something like this right? so my wrist was delaying so but i tried to animate that but then right. when i was animating i wanted to to that uh, what do we call this stretch frame or uh, something like that so i think i missed the, uh, that in that also so stretch frame you can use uh, generally i i tend to avoid it at least uh, or maybe when you are kind of doing the stretch frame it's it's uh-huh. just a little bit stretched it's stretched yeah. so so slightly or so less like in this in the sense like maybe one or two frames that you'll not see it like if you see for example when you hit the baseball with a with a bat uh, there is a frame in between which basically where you see the you know if you actually see it in slow yeah, it warps and it was it yeah. warps right but you will not see that in real life real time so it's more yes. like an experience that you kind of get at a very like your your brain reads it but it's so fast that you can't show it to someone else so it's kind of similar yes. in animation uh, that it it's there like the stretch and squash we do is there 
but it's so uh, short in in terms of span that it just it feels right it doesn't look like you know things are stretched so this will feel normal but if you have very few frames suppose you want to do the same thing in you know if you want to skip let's say two frames in between so let me delete this one for example and maybe not even a slow in here so it kind of moves from here to here so it will and this thing will feel really fast right this thing will feel really fast and you're you can almost see the individual frame so in such cases you kind of tend to make a little bit more of a um slightly stretched out frame that will give a better feel to you know uh, it will be easier to read yeah so you're kind of stretching your drawing just to feel like it's more continuous because i still going to follow the lines right either either it's this way or if you want to have uh, you know it doesn't matter what kind of shape you are going with suppose even if you want to leave this kind of trail for example like in especially in fx you do that right so so even if you want to do those lines it's kind of something you're leaving behind for the eye to follow so it will feel a bit better right more continuous point being these when you have less time to do uh, which means less number of frames then there you can use stretch frames effectively especially when you do like as a head shake right you'll you do this head shake and it has to be done in a very yeah. short time but you want to get the regressive motion yeah. you'll use these blurs or the stretch frames there where that's where it is effective so otherwise if you have enough time for things so uh, actions like these i feel like it will be it's better to kind of just go with the clarity and maybe have uh, just a few frames in between which which you know have proper key frames proper uh, transition frames like these and just a few frames where you can really push the hand like you know really kind of just gets fully stretched maybe just the fingers get just a bit stretched things like that yeah so the body has to move age that means something has to propel it so generally like i i the hip generally comes a little bit peeche so it kind of pushes that also this leg is sort of coming over to you know generate that momentum mm -hmm. to kind of generate that feel and that's why this yeah. feels uh this feels like right, right this way because you know Like even if you try to kick something, if you'll see in you know, a football, right? When you kind of jump midair and try to kick, you'll see the other leg will generally go back. It's to kind of counterbalance. So this body is constantly doing this counterbalancing thing, where this is going upper and this is going down. Uh, this is sort of like you know, if the hip is if the body is going up, the hip is going slightly piche, right? And same thing with the twisting. So if the upper body is twisting this way, uh, the lower body is kind of twisting a little bit back. Like here it was. uh the hip was more or less facing this way and then it kind of changes a little bit yes so all this is happening constantly in the body and that's that's why it gets a little tricky but it it will be great to have the clarity uh, in the animation right and before um, the other thing i would suggest is like especially for these kind of actions before you um, you know hit the final pose like right now he kind of hits uh, the character and then kind of you know gets punched so Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you have done that, but uh, I think it just the pose needed to be better. So my point was that yes, you need to. You should hit this pose first board, board before board. getting punch. So, so, for example, if uh, this is the frame, it's getting much right. Yes. So this is the frame is getting punch. So you can see the impact now, like from here to here. and also it will really help yeah. if if you had that hand sort of coming out of uh in this frame itself so slightly yeah, you know. yeah okay. just just a little bit and um, like maybe the hand is coming out and you can see a bit of force over it kind of penetrating kind of thing see that punch here so then your character can go back right yeah. and it so right now this looks a bit dull because uh as a pose like the whole body sort of facing that way right so that looks a bit dull i mm -hmm. feel like if it could have been here where you kind of get punched in the rib cage of first but the lower body remains like how it is here so it it uh, okay the lower body sort of remains here only you can probably throw the legs up more and even this leg kind of gets straightened out like you know like that maybe even like uh, when you get punch like so when the when he punch the head went down but when you kind of take a punch it kind of comes again so it could be like you know for getting punch like that so it can again generate more nice flow to it so, you know i think it is now much more readable yeah 
makes yeah. sense so you can there are other things that you take a call on for example if you put the leg here like i had done before it may not be as clear as you know it's going to cross over the hand so yes you will have to move the leg but it will be still better to kind of put the leg here for example right where you getting punched it will it will feel better like you're constantly because now in animation you're not only drawing with drawing uh, you're not only dealing with drawing you're kind of dealing with the motion also so you need to like take care of that so when you're hitting the hand this this pose looks a bit like the hand going upward looks a bit to me like weird to me because you're kind of punching and this hand is here so it's it's weird uh, it's a weird kind of motion that way so when you kind of punch either it will go fully back because you're twisting a lot and like i said like it generally when you punch it leads from here right you lead from this hand so it kind of goes like that and then you punch so that means this hand is going to complete its kind of full turn like the way you do in tennis for example so when you hit a tennis shot you kind of complete all the way till yes. here you don't sort of stop here right so this hand here mm -hmm. looks a bit weird so you could probably you know keep it um even if you keep it on the same level and not peach it this should still sort of go yeah. here and yeah. the this will be your um, what do you say fist right so it will still be an it will generate a little more twist to that not only that it will also give you a nice angle for the hand to you know for the eye in terms of posing it will give a nice angle because then you will see that in terms of appeal not so good because it's kind of having this uh, you know weird flow whereas if it was nice in this line it would look much better yeah, like we're going getting small yeah now the other thing is like in terms of drawing and poses for example if i have to say now if i have to look at this pose this this particular action here um yes yeah. it's a nice drawing but it doesn't look like a very strong aggressive pose especially it looks more graceful than strong right so again it, oh, okay. it probably would come out a bit or something like that which which needs to look a bit more stronger even when you're trying to generate some force or something like that so it needs to be a bit more that way and then by the time you come to the final pose like here it definitely shouldn't be like that it should probably be little more you know like when you punch so it needs to be a bit more uh, open yeah a bit more yeah, open so it, yeah so if you see here and the other thing is yeah of course i mean like it could be an attitude thing that he's not looking up but you can have him sort of look up a bit so it look a bit better and here uh, instead of having the fingers like open because again it feels weird to kind of have that because your your body is kind of right now reacting to everything So even this will have a, uh, you know, yeah, fist this will have a fist. Yeah. Whether you can something like that here. So this would look a much more stronger pose than that. And the other thing which is not happening is, uh, right now there's not much anticipation, so that can also add a little bit of uh, fun to this. Even if it's like this, it this will have much more kind of little push to it, just a little bit. and that means like this anticipation makes so this will feel a bit better yeah. just like very slightly and it's not it's there only these are like just two drawings so it's only be it's going to be there for just just for a blink you know before you can blink it will play so i think these are just a few things that you can do um uh, like i said i think drawing wise you have got a good hang of uh, drawing the characters sort of maintaining the volume and everything uh, i mean in terms of not in the proportion volume i mean like it looks solid when even drawing from different angle looks solid that way the proportions i can't tell because uh, the characters are constantly going like you know large scale small scale so i can't tell but uh, it's it's kind of nice but yeah these i think these are the arcs and all are very important the, when you kind of start animating character the movement the flow and the arcs become really really important and also very important to know how the like the, the transitory poses in the stages and that's where it gets tricky like how does how does like you go from you know when you're walking how does weight shift from one leg to another and mm. so it's very crucial so yeah like uh, i what i would suggest is like even for example here i would actually like to see like how does the hand transition so if the hand is sort of going here where is this kind of how does it changes right and if it's like this then at what point like it kind of you know like that it happens is. so it will be much better to kind of see that instead of uh, and also give you more clarity in terms of how does the how does the body 
function like the joints and more clarity of like yes. not only what it looks like in a static pose but how it moves around so yeah. that's that's mainly it uh, i think yeah we are just have a minute about i hope that that was helpful <laughs> yeah yeah it is helpful very really helpful <laughs> I've, I I uh, myself have not done a lot of animation recently, so I'm a bit slow with it. And my drawings look really shitty, but the, I mean that's the idea. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, 